Hi guys, so are you ready to draw with me today? So today we will be drawing a golden orb web spider. Um, this is a request from Josh Batty. Um, he requested it a long time ago and I didn't see the comment so I'm so sorry but uh, here it is. I hope you like it and if you are new to my channel and haven't been here already please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon to get a video every single day and along the way while I draw I will give you some fun facts about the golden orb web spider so that you can learn something while we draw and also if you have any requests for me to draw for next time please let me know in the comments below I will draw that for you and show you how to draw it as well so for Josh I drew a um, scorpion um, and also a, um, a cobra and now the spider I really hope you like it I actually did draw a spider earlier a different type of a spider you can check that as well i will put that in the um, i button up top as well as at this at the end of this video so you can have a look at that too if you are interested in drawing spiders So to get the fun facts today, I will be reading SabbySabby.com um, and uh, to get some fun facts for you. Um, so if you want to read more and learn more about this spider, you can go there as well. I'm just reading that because I found it very interesting and it has some interesting pictures there and um, some interesting facts. So... Um, a banded legged nephilia, commonly known as the golden orb spider, is a num member of the nephilia genus of um, arachnids. So um, there you go, some scientific names for you about this spider. And um, the name roughly translate in Greek uh, to fund of spinning. Uh, apparently they have an enormous web um, they weave an enormous huge web and this is a beautiful spider anyways it's yellow and has some like white details along with black you can beautiful beautiful little spider and there's a picture uh, there with the spider and the web and there's a tiny little um, another spider at the back of the big spider if you want to check this website out uh, pretty interesting and uh, they have been seen to start at the top of six meter tree and stretch as much as two meters across I'm talking about the web here so the spider can build a huge web uh, it looks like um, and apparently most other spider webs are short-lived these impressive structures can last for years so probably have like a really strong mesh um, apparently the name um, is the golden orb spider is named um, uh, golden orb spider because of the color of its silk it's thought that this color may serve two purposes. In the sunlight, it will attract bees drawn to the bright yellow, whereas in shadow, it becomes camouflaged into the foliage, thus ensuring um, and ensnaring other insects. Interesting, right? How the na nature works. So if you have any interesting facts that you would like to share, please let me know in the comments below. And Josh, I hope you're enjoying this video. I'm so sorry it took me so long to draw this for you. Um, I just saw the comment recently and uh, I hope uh, 
you will send me another request as well if you have it and I will do that for you as well I hope you enjoy this video and um, so we're almost done with the drawing part and I'm also going to show you how to color it as well really quickly and then at the end of this video I will show you how the full color drawing looks like with a little shadow effect to make it look a little bit 3D um, and I'll give you some more fun facts along the way as well So um, its size and uh, formidable looks make this one of the most recognizable and easy to identify spider species. Um, yeah, they are very distinctly colored, so must be really easy. I've never seen one in real life. I just uh, looked it up because Joss requested it and I found lots of pictures uh, and most of them look very similar. Uh, uh, looks like the pattern at the back of them uh, differs a little bit but uh, mostly they look very similar and very distinct colors so you probably can recognize it like it says here anywhere so although it is frightening to look at this spider is non-aggressive and relatively harmless it can deliver a painful bite if sever severely provoked but the venom is not lethal, generally only causing redness and blistering. So there you go, not a dangerous spider at all. A female golden orb spider can have an abdomen of up to 30 millimeters long and she dwarfs the tiny 5 millimeter male in both size and weight. In almost all Nephilia species, the male is in danger of being devoured by the female after mating. Wow, that's scary. To avoid being cannibalized, the male will approach the female when she's already feeding or present her with a parcel of food to eat. Whilst the female is distracted, the male will fertilize her and then retreat to a safe distance. Wow, that's interesting and funny too. Um, the silk of this species is incredibly strong. It can even trap small birds. And there is a theory that if um, it were possible to weave a line of silk to a thickness of a small pencil, it would be able to withstand the rip ripple, uh, withstand and repel. 747 jumbo jet at maximum speed. Wow. In some tribal communities, the web silk is used to make fishing lures and traps. So if you want to learn more, you can go to the website and learn more about this beautiful spider. So this is the full color drawing of the golden web spider. I really hope you like it. And Josh, I hope you like that uh, this one as well. And if you want to buy products with this on, check out my Redbubble shop link in the description box below to see products like t-shirts and um, phone cases and things like that. So check it out. And now I'm going to put some next videos for you, including the other spider that I drew. Um, so I hope you like it. Um, and if you uh, click on my face logo, you can subscribe to my channel to get more videos like this. So then I will see you tomorrow. Bye.